You know, a lot of times when we want to hear God, we want to hear a big megaphone as if there's a big megaphone in the sky and God is shouting our name and saying, Thus say the Lord, the green pastures is in Kawo there. I know toxic Kawo and I'm big green pastures. I'm just using it. <laughs> you know, but we're expecting to hear God speak with a big megaphone. But you know, the lepers, it was God that led them. But they did not hear anything. They just had between themselves, they discussed and they said, look, there's things that are bad in this land. If we sit down outside, outside the city gates, there's no food, we'll die. If we go into the city, there's no food, we're going to die. So what's the option? Let's go to the enemy's camp. Let's go to the enemy's camp. They were talking amongst themselves, but God was dropping a seed into their heart and they were following the seed that God dropped. When you go to the enemy's camp, you'll get back all that he has stolen. And you'll enjoy it in the name of Jesus. They went to the enemy's camp. And they took back everything the enemy stole from them. Because they heard the voice of God. It's very important. They heard the voice. They went. And they rose up in the twilight, verse 5, to go on to the camp of the Syrians. And when they were come to the uttermost part of the camp of Syria, behold... There was no man there. For the Lord had made the host of the Syrians to hear a noise of chariots and a noise of horses, even the noise of a great host. And they said one to another, Lo, the king of Israel has hired against us the kings of the Hittites, the kings of the Egyptians, to come upon us. Therefore they rose and fled in the twilight. They left their tents, their horses, their asses, even the camp as it was, and they fled for their, their lives. Your enemies will run and leave what they have stolen from you behind in the name of Jesus. 